Hi friends, welcome to Washington National Cathedral. My name is Randy Hollerith and I'm the Dean of the Cathedral and it's my pleasure to welcome you to another of our weekly videos as we take a virtual pilgrimage through the beautiful chapels of the Cathedral. Today we're in one of my very favorite places in the entire Cathedral, the Children's Chapel. The Children's Chapel is located on the nave level of the cathedral, on the south side of the Great Choir, adjacent to War Memorial Chapel and the south transept. Although it has become customary in many houses of worship to set aside special places for children, such as a children's corner or a children's arch, only one other cathedral is known to have set aside a chapel for the use of children. Parents who were cathedral benefactors donated the funds for this chapel in memory of their own son who lived for only six years. The theme of the chapel unfolds near its entrance, where a bronze statue of a boy, his arms flung wide in welcome, greets all who enter. The sculpture entitled The Child Jesus is the work of Mary Aldrich Frazier. Entrance gates by Samuel Yellen signal a playful and imaginative tone with fanciful flowers and the whimsical heads of birds and other animals. Inside the fan vaulting of the ceiling of the chapel is deliberately lowered to enable a close view of its elaborate carving. Indeed, all the furnishings of the chapel, including the Raridas, baptismal font, altar chairs, even the pipe organ are scaled to accommodate the size of a six-year-old child. References to children in the Bible abound. The stained glass window designed by George Gugert tells the story of Samuel and David as boys. The gilt reredos of carved wood features on the lower left the young Jesus confounding the elders in the temple and on the right Jesus saying, Suffer the little children to come unto me. Even the needlepoint kneelers in this small chapel are made with an eye to delight children. Designs of baby animals of all kinds are featured, including those on the communion kneeler preparing to enter Noah's Ark. The small figures above the altar panels are Peter and Paul, patron saints of the cathedral while in the center of the Raridas is the risen Christ with his mother Mary on his right and John the beloved disciple on his left. In the wall to the left of the altar, a statue by Hazel Clare of St. Michael slaying the dragon symbolizes the power of good to overcome evil. According to tradition, St. Michael is the Prince of Guardian Angels, a reminder of the psalmist's words that God shall give his angels charge over thee and keep thee in all thy ways. Another carving depicting John the Baptizer as a young boy appears in the wall above the grill openings of the chapel's north wall. Our reading for this stop on our pilgrimage comes from the Gospel of St. Luke. People were bringing infants to Jesus that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they sternly ordered them not to do it. But Jesus called for them and said, Let the little children come to me, and do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. Let us pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, you have blessed us with the joy and care of children. Give us calm strength and patient wisdom as we bring them up, that we may teach them to love whatever is just and true and good, following the example of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen.
Thank you for journeying with us today and may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and always.